All right, uh, let's go ahead and get this little fella painted. Oh, uh, okay. Now for the shoes, we want a mild uh, brown or a, or a here even the little little yellow or something just for the shoes would be a mild color for it. Let me just dip, dip it in here. All right. Now let's see. Let's go with the uh, blanket. Uh, let's see, should we do a, a brown or should we do, I think a brown would be good. It was a sort of a, uh, let's see. T T T T T T T T Nutmeg Brown, I don't like that. Let's just go with a brown color. Okay, let me get a little bit bigger. Uh thing here. I always like to mix my brown up a little bit before I put it on. Usually most uh Most uh, colors are brown. Blankets, I mean, you know, and stuff like that. Some of them are. I guess you could say. I like to, but if I'm going to do a brown, I like to, uh, watered my brown down quite a bit when I do it. And usually with a brown, you're going to have to go over it twice. Usually you don't get the desired effect with one. That's why I would rather go over it twice and then then to just have a uh, a strong brown at first all right okay we'll go with that all right, the next thing is the hair will be a black. Of course, since it is a Indian, it'll be a black color. So most Indians have black hair. And most of us know that. And please, folks, this is not being racial by saying this, okay? This, that's... This is just truth. Most of them have, uh, most Indians have black hair. So, we just kind of, uh, be 
careful here. Trying to show you. careful because black is such a black is such a dominating color you have to really be careful with it because it's it is so dominating it will overtake anything else that you have uh, get that inside of the hair there like over here all right and of course I'm going to plank our top piece as well Give that another little. I mean, I'm just trying to look at it here. Little shot. Okay. Now I want the sash. I mean, the scarf. Uh, the oh, scarf. <laughs> the band around the head to be a reddish color. A reddish color. This is that rustic red sort of like a rust red is what it is using a lot of water and usually this is going to require two coats This is usually going to require several coats because it does not cover very well at first. Okay? Which is fine. In fact, let me get a little bit deeper in here. Okay, there you go. A little red got on the face, but that's not a problem. Now on our uh, our uh, feather, we're going to use a little white or an ivory type. I, I don't use pure white. I use a little ivory. I like it. Uh, it's a little bit smoother white than a just a a. Uh, uh, pure white as we would say and then we'll kind of go over that a little bit got the white on the hair <laughs> it's all right I'll go back over the hair let that dry a little bit and I'll go back over the hair and I might have got some on the yeah I got I'm, no I didn't get any on the just got it's it just ran a little bit on the hair it's just no problem black will overcome that it's not a problem now let's go with the flesh tone and then we're gonna cover it with a lot of red uh, I mean the, the face and we're going to make it more and more red than what it should be uh, let's go with the hand
and let's go with the face. Now, there's an area that I can put eyes in this thing, and I might go ahead and do it. So, there is an area I did cut that eyes can be a factor back in here, and I may use that. Okay, I got the face done. That would all have to be. I showed you how I did my eyes with the little uh, um, okay there's a few little places that ran on one another it's no big deal oh, hold on there's a, I missed a place I need the, the, mm, here okay now let's look at our, our little spear. Now naturally, that would be a... I want to get some burnt umber for the handle. And more of a grayish type for the... Burnt umber is almost like a black, but it's, it's not a black. on the handle. That didn't take much, did it? <laughs> yep, yeah, there's a burn over on the handle. And let's see, we're gonna... I've got some silver, but it wouldn't be silver at that back in those times at all. It would be a grayish color. The, uh... uh they they did not have these what you see in movies that with all this shiny looking stuff and everything like that they, they're they're I'm sure their tools and their even their their weapons were very primitive at that time so were you gonna use just a gray in here and then I'm gonna go over it with a black to darken that even more. There we go. And I'll go over it with a... I'm sorry, let me get the top up here. This up here has to be... this down here. Alright. Now, When this is over, I'll go ahead and put the eyes in, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the brown one more time. That's still a little bit. That that brown is not strong enough. So I'm going to go ahead and mix a. a a brown again and mix it with water and go over it again so that we can give it more of a stronger stronger brown There it goes. We got a little bit stronger brown here. In fact, most of the stuff I'm going to go over again. Okay, I'm trying the best uh, to get... But you've seen what I've been doing here. Put that in there, the, the brown. Even though I go over with a brown wash, I want to make that a little bit more uh, stronger brown. It just wasn't enough. 
you can still see the wood through it and I'm gonna take the brown and I'm gonna hit those little shoes just a little bit and it gives it a little bit a little bit different more than just a bright uh, yellow or anything like that it, it, it actually uh, dulls the shoes like that okay now the face has got to completely dry but while I'm at it I can go ahead and see if I can't go uh, go ahead and get the black the hair uh, yeah I'm gonna just put some more black around here there we go oh boy uh, let's see is it let me see hold on here I got, yeah there's the black but it may be that the white has not dried yet so it's not going to overcome it yeah it hasn't dried yet hasn't dried the way I want it so I'm just going to be I'm just mixing it it's not going to work all right now uh, now when I'm I'm through and I'm gonna do the 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 little head thing one more time and then I'm gonna take a little thing and I'm just gonna make some little squiggly things on it and uh, so basically the this is this is the painting I'm gonna add the eyes but like I said I have got to, you have to let the face dry if you don't let it dry and you try to do all that kind of stuff it just the, 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 the colors just run together so that's the thing about showing you how to paint something uh, and I'll I'll go back over the, the face with red several times to make it look more of a red type face for an Indian and uh, once the yellow white dries then I will try to hit that again and, and whatever but anyway that's that's basically what you do in that in that sense in other words and uh, so this is our painting and then I'll show you when it's through and and we'll work on that like I said I have to I used to have a dryer, a hair dryer that I used to dry all that stuff real quick, but I don't have it anymore. So I just have to let things kind of go until I can get them, get them going. So, all right. Well, God bless you now, and uh, let's look at him for a minute. Like I said, the I'm in an apartment down here, so it's not the 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 paint doesn't dry that quickly. It takes just a little while to dry it. And then I'll repaint the hair and uh, uh, we'll, I'll show it to you when through. All right, well, God bless you now.